morning guys welcome back to another video another packaging right here it's a longer one today and i'm pretty sure this is a clothing rack so i'm going to open it up try build it myself and figure out a place to put it because we've got a whole bunch of clothes that are not in packaging and they're just cut on their own so it'll be good to just hang up and have a place for it Biggie, be careful there's a knife here be careful puppy this many screws and things. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna be here forever trying to build this. <laughs> All right, so I've got all my pieces set up. There's two of pretty much every single pole. I guess it shouldn't be that easy now that I'm looking at it like face down. There's actually not that many parts because half of them is gonna go one side, the other half is the other. Main thing is just figuring out where all these screws go. I think I made a mistake because it's meant to have two layers if you guys can see on the image right here it's got one rack here and one rack above but this one here is meant to go in between however if I put it in between there no matter what the height of this stays the same so I think I'm just gonna leave it as is or I'll see when how it gets home but I'm pretty sure I'm correct and it's meant to just go like there which is silly because if we place stuff below here it's so low it's going to touch the ground i have moved on to doing some embroidery right now and i'm doing some for chun so that is actually eugene's girlfriend if anyone doesn't know and she has ordered two t-shirts with the initials on it and i haven't really done this for a while i've actually taken it off the central pieces website but I'm thinking I might just leave the t-shirts on there just because I think t-shirts are a lot easier to do. Summer's coming up and who wouldn't want a t-shirt with like the initials on just like the sleeves. It's like that little detailing. So I think I might add it back up there. I'm like super indecisive of whether or not I just want to keep it dog clothes or add like human things. I really, really need to make up my mind on that because it's getting out of hand. But the other one I have over here... It is J.NG and this is actually really nice as well. Worked out really well. I'm now trying to embroider on this Christmas stocking because I really, really want to do embroidery for Christmas for just either humans or for pets, have their name done here. And if it's like a pet or a dog, gonna have like a little paw print here or like a little paw print here. But I reached my first dilemma because this one here, it's gonna fit when it goes inside but it's way too small. So the wording of each name will only be like this big, which is gonna look so funny. The neck sizing up, which is what I was hoping would fit, is just literally half a centimeter too big. Like I can't even fit this in here and I need it to fit in here to work. It doesn't even fit in this way either because of this area. So I don't know what to do now. I have just finished embroidering on a dog bandana. This is the final design of what it's gonna be like. It honestly looks funny as is because it's so low down, but I had to test it on honey. If you guys can see, I'm going to show you guys a mistake I've made. Bam! I've done some testers over here. This was the original one, which I thought was good, but once I put it on honey, her fur just covered and you can't see the name, which is why I had to go lower down. And now this is what we have. So it's going to look really good. Some people like to fold their bandanas. I'm going to put it on honey and show you guys what it will look like. This is a little like idea of what it will look like. Obviously her name is not Millie, but it just sits really nicely with a lower down. You can see it a lot better. She looks so cute right now. I should make you one with your own name, shouldn't I, honey? Yes? Need to kind of like bring it to the front a little bit more, but yeah, how cute is that? You kitty pie! It's not really on properly, but I gotta fix it. BRB. I finished embroidering on these two designs right here. So these are the final bandana first designs I'm gonna release, which is this pink one. I think it looks really cute with like the white, even if you have like another solid color like blue, purple, red, anything like that, it's gonna go well. Maybe not red and pink, but 
I think white is definitely my favorite. And the other one I've got here is this spotty one. It's like very, very faint silver spots, which I really like. This both feels so nice. This is an organic one, and this is just a normal 100% cotton. But I think it goes really well with the blue, and even if you add like pink or red or green, any other solid color will go well with this. I'm just trying to take some promo pics right now, but I think I might have to wait till Hal gets here so he can take some better ones. I'm hoping to release those by this weekend and have it done and ready to go. So what I'm also going to do is every single bandana is going to be handmade. I'm going to have like the actual squares itself kind of pre-made to whatever I can do. And then once obviously people embroider and all that stuff, it's all personalized. So I have to do it once they make their orders. But I've got two other designs, which I'm not sure if I want to drop with those other two designs or wait like a week or two and then drop it. I feel like I should just drop all four in the one go so there's more variety. I'll show you guys what it is. This is the other color way that I'm going. It's just like a solid yellow goldy mustard color. It's not super yellow like this yellow right here. Like this is a straight up yellow. It's more of a, okay, that totally failed. It looks like the exact same yellow, but it's more of like a orangey yellow kind of kind of i don't know i was hoping to find a mustard color but i couldn't find one so this is gonna have to do for now i've only got like two meters so i'm probably going to be able to make about 10 or more bandanas out of this fabric right here the other one i'm going for is this one right here which i'm so excited about this fabric here is just so nice it's like this gray marble type one and i think it's gonna go really well to have like the names embroidered in pink in blue i think those two colors are definitely my favorite and what a lot of people will choose but i'm just loving this one i love marble in general so that is definitely why i chose this i think all of these colorways together also go really well like it kind of all flows if i can grab this yellow I think it's just like a cute little colorway and color palette for the first round of bandanas to be like embroidered and personalized. In like a couple more weeks, which I probably need to launch very, very soon, I also want to do like two styles of Christmas bandanas because Christmas is coming up in like two months now and everywhere is going Christmas crazy. A lot of people are starting to release their Christmas stuff, so I need to get on that ASAP. Anyways, guys, that's the end of another video. Thank you, as always, if you've made it this far. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it right now, but the roller door is just like rattling so much. It's hardcore freaking me out because it's so windy outside. But thank you so much for just hanging out with me today. How will be back in tomorrow's video? I'm pretty sure we're going to the Sneaker Freaker and G-Shock party, which hopefully should be really exciting and really cool. I have no idea what I'm expecting from it. I'm expecting like something super crazy and like super unique or whatnot because it's also a Halloween party. So I feel like it's going to be spooky and scary. But we'll see you guys in our next video. And also a big welcome to all our new subscribers. We upload videos every single day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.